Hello, this is Paula from the Knitting Pipeline podcast, and I am going to show you how to do an applied lace border, which is the type of border that is used on my design, Piper's Journey, which was published in February 2011 by Quinson Company. My swatch here has the live stitches. This would correspond to this part of your shawl. It would be here, okay? For an applied lace border, and the reason I showed Knitter's Almanac is that I learned this from the great Elizabeth Zimmerman herself. It's what she uses on the pie shawl, and it's a great technique. Straighten out the camera, Tad, and try to focus a bit. I am not an expert video person at all, so. Okay. The first thing is that you need to cast on the stitches for the border, and I'm not going to do the lace border for Piper's Journey. I'm just going to do a plain garter stitch border, which would be great too. So I'm doing the I'm doing the cable or knitted cast on here. So I go into the stitch, make a loop, and then put it back on the needle, and make sure you give it that little twist. Don't put it on the wrong way like that. That's the correct way. Let's see how many I got here. One, two, three, four, five. That's perfect. Okay. So I'm going to knit the border stitches until I get to the last one. So one, two, three, four. And then this last stitch I am going to slip as if to knit. Then I'm going to knit the stitch from the body of the shawl and then pass the slip stitch over. Now this could be a different type of decrease but this is the one that I am using. And then I turn my work and I like to slip the first stitch. It could be knitted but I generally slip as if to purl and then knit back. So I've taken care of one stitch on the body of the shawl. You might find this easier to use a double pointed needle in your right hand, but I can't do that for the video because it bumps into the table. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now, of course, if you were doing Piper's Journey, you would be following the chart. Remember that? I'm sure you'd figure that out. And then this is the last stitch on the border that's closest to the body. Slip it as if to knit, knit one, pass slip stitch over, and then turn, whoops, didn't get this, and turn your work. Now the reason you might like this border is that number one, it is not difficult to have a flexible edge. You automatically will have a flexible edge. That can be difficult when you have a curved edge like this and if you're trying to bind off along this edge there are bind offs that are stretchy but this is another way to take care of that and then when you come to the end you only have to bind off these stitches that are left here so you don't have a long bind off also when you're working the lace pattern you only have the I believe it's 18 stitches of the lace pattern and if you make a mistake you only have to take out those 18 stitches back to a purl row or plain row you're not having to take out so many so again this is the applied lace border or applied border it doesn't have to be lace we'll just call it the applied border that is used in the Piper's Journey shawl published by Quince and Company I'm Paula from the Knitting Pipeline Podcast It's found at knittingpipeline.com and also on iTunes.